talk about the six millimeter creed mower. We're gonna talk about my particular six millimeter creed mower here and just the six millimeter creed mower cartridge in general. Um, if you have followed PRS, um, the NRL center fire series, the uh, short to medium range bench rest or short to medium range um, F class series for any amount of time, you'll have seen a very big trend towards the six millimeters. And there's a reason for that whether it's the 6BR, the 6XC, the 6 Creedmoor, or any of the other little 6mm speed demons, um, the 6mm are a very, very fast, light bullet. They have a, all of them have very high muzzle velocities. Um, they all, they have, the bullets that you can get for 6mm have, I wouldn't call it a high ballistic coefficient, but all have a very reasonable ballistic coefficient and with the speed and the ballistic coefficient have very small elevation corrections at distance, meaning a much flatter trajectory, meaning a lot more room for error. So that's why the six millimeters are becoming the go-tos in long range precision shooting. Um, if you're not trying to hunt game or if you're just trying to hunt small game, six millimeters are the probably the way to go if you're if you're just wanting to kill you know small varmints you can still do it with a six millimeter and it uh, like I said you'll have a lot lot less elevation correction now it's not going to do the same thing that a that a larger you know full full bore hunting caliber will do but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about just long range precision shooting um, and out of all those 6mm cartridges, in my opinion, the 6mm Creedmoor is definitely the most ubiquitous. Um, it has the highest amount of aftermarket support, and if you are not a hand loader, you can. the 6mm Creedmoor is the only one of those little 6mm cartridges other than the 243, which is also a 6mm. But the problem with 243 is the barrel twists tend to be a lot slower in anything chambered in 243 unless you're it's a custom build of your own and so therefore you have to run a lot smaller bullet a lot lighter bullet with a lot lower ballistic coefficient so that's the reason i'm not counting the 243 in this list but uh the six millimeter creedmoor is out of all those all the little breakneck six millimeter cartridges that are out there now is the one that you can go to pretty much any Bass Pro Shop or any Cabela's or your local gun store and maybe even Walmart if they even sell ammo anymore I'm not sure <laughs> but uh, that you can go to any of those places and pick up a box of match grade six millimeter creed more ammo and go shoot if you're not a hand loader so with all that that makes the six millimeter creed more I think the absolute king of the hill when it comes to six millimeters uh, this particular rifle this is my six millimeter creedmoor you if you guys have watched any of my videos for any amount of time you have seen this rifle um, i have shot more long range precision shots with this particular rifle than any of my other rifles um, and have more videos using this rifle than any of my other rifles so I'm sure you have probably seen this and I've out of the whole time I've had it, I've done videos on pretty much every other long range precision rifle or cartridge that I've gotten into, but I've never done one on this rifle and was thinking about that the other day and thinking that was crazy. So let's let's get into it. Let's talk about it and talk about why, in my opinion, I like the six millimeter cream more so much. So this is my Custom Savage 6mm Creedmoor. This is a Savage 12FV action. Um, if you don't know about the 12FV, it is an exclusive Savage rifle that is an exclusive to Cabela's and Bass Pro. Um, the only place that you can buy a Savage 12FV is Cabela's or Bass Pro. And every once in a while, you'll see in their flyer or you'll go in and look, and you'll be able to pick up a 12FV rifle for just the base rifle for 300 280 to $320 depending on the sale price but any day of the week you can pretty much go into a Bass Pro 
and pick up a 12 FV for $450, which is a screaming deal for the feature set that you get with those rifles. Now, the only thing left on this that is a 12 FV is the action and part of the bolt. So that's what we're going to talk about. So this is a Savage 12 FV action. And if you want to know more about 12 FV, I should also mention um, there's a channel, the guy called the Social Regressive, and he just did a, ser a really good series on building out the 12 FV. Um, he went and I, I want to say for under a thousand dollars, right at a thousand dollars or a little bit less, went and built out a 12 FV and 6.5 Creedmoor that he took. He got it all built out, took it out to a mile. So really good series if you want to know more about the 12 fbs it's a great place to get a, gain a lot of information um, i have taken this particular rifle um, in the six millimeter creed more out to 1925 yards so well beyond a mile um, and with repeatable accuracy i might add um, but this is like i said i'll say it again the 12 fv action which is a true out of the box savage action um, I've got a Criterion bull barrel here, which is a 28 inch bull barrel. Um, they're like $450 for the barrel from Criterion, um, actually from, uh, it would be, uh, Northland shooting supplies where you would actually order your barrels through. Um, so 12 or $450 for the barrel. You're looking at, at the very least $300 for the action. Um, this is sitting in an HS Precision stock, so a $500 HS Precision stock, which is bed, and it is bedded, so $50 for, worth of bedding compound. Um, I have a PTG two-piece bolt head in here, um, another $100 for the PTG bolt head, which helps. It's not a necessity, but it definitely adds the accuracy of the rifle. It gives it a so more solid squared lockup. Um, and uh, makes makes the rifle just a little bit more accurate. Um, I am shooting the stock Savage Accu trigger, but it is not done in a stock way. I won't get into exactly how I've went about tuning this trigger, but uh, this Accu trigger breaks at just barely over one pound, which is not something you can get done with a regular stock Accu trigger, but. The way that I've tuned this and polished everything, um, this thing breaks extremely light. And I won't say how I've done that just for safety reasons. I don't want people to go out and try to do what I have done to this trigger. This trigger is safe. It was drop safe, but it is easy to mess it up and make one not that way. So, like I said, we won't talk about how that came to be. But uh, I'm actually getting ready to drop a rifle basics trigger in here so it will not be the Accu trigger. But in the meantime, the thing is extremely forgiving in the Accu trigger that I have done here. Um, I've got a uh, forty dollar, thirty or forty dollar um, Night Force twenty MOA rail on top. Um, I've talked about these bipods before in another video. This is probably my favorite uh, prone shooting bipod. It is the um, UTG Recon three hundred and sixty. Um, I have about $50 for this bipod, 50 to 70, depending on where you find it. Um, if you look on, if you look on uh, Amazon and Prime membership, sometimes you can find them for 50 bucks. Um, and we won't add the, we won't. Uh, I'm sorry. I've also got a $60 um, aftermarket Criterion uh, recoil lug. If you are wanting to build out a 12 FV rifle in a extremely accurate package. One of the first things you need to get rid of is the stock Savage recoil lug because they leave a lot to be desired. Um, a $30 um, Criterion barrel nut, you can use the stock Savage one, but the Criterion not only did it look better, um, it's a little beefier and gives just a little tighter, tighter fit with the Criterion barrel. Um, hundred dollars worth of savage bottom metal um, you'll notice that I'm not running a big box magazine I'm running a stock four shot three or four shot I don't know I never don't ever use it three or four shot savage magazine 
um, and this is the Savage bottom metal. It's not, it's not, didn't come on the actual gun, but you can buy this bottom metal from Savage um, for right at $100. So that's the build list. We won't, we won't count the scope. This is a Weaver Nitrex, uh, Nitrex TR2. Um, they actually don't make this exact scope anymore. They make a few that are very similar to this, but uh, it, uh, it's about a $1,200 scope if you wanted a scope just like this, but this scope is really not for most types of long range shooting. This is more a precision F-class scope, precision bench rest or F-class scope um, for the mid-range series. It's a 4 to 12, or 4 to 24, I'm sorry. And uh, so I won't count the scope in the actual rifle build list, but so that's how this rifle is built out and how it's set up. And uh, so for right at $2,000 or maybe a little less, I'll add it all up and we'll put it on the screen here in a minute. But uh, you can build a rifle just like this that uh, is just as, as accurate as any rifle can be, especially with my hand loads. That I, that I have loaded up for this. Um, the load that I'm shooting right now is a 108 grain ELDM, and uh, it leaves the muzzle at uh, 3175, so it's a little screaming little 108 grain pill. Um, and even if you wanted to just buy the, the factory 108 grain Savage load, or 108 grain uh, Hornady load, um, I want to say just the factory load. This like keep in mind this is a 28 inch barrel. Just the factory load in a 24 inch barrel leaves the muzzle at uh, I want to say just a hair under 3,000 feet a second. So they are still getting down for a factory loaded precision rifle cartridge. Uh, my friend, a good friend of mine who has a rifle. It's not a Savage rifle, but it's a a very similar, similar, similarly built setup um, that I shoot with regularly. He's got a 6.5 Creedmoor with a Criterion barrel and uh, we do a lot of shooting together and just to give you an idea of the flatness of the 6 Creedmoor round, the how, how flat it shoots, um, at a thousand yards the 6.5 Creedmoor set up very similarly with the top of the line Hornady Bullet, the 147 grain ELDM, um, he, his elevation correction at 1,000 is right at 33 minutes. My elevation correction at 1,000 with the 108 grain ELDM, so top of the line 6 millimeter um, Hornady load, Hornady Bullet, is 23 minutes on average. So you're looking at 10 minutes of angle less at 1,000 yards to shoot the six millimeter creep more over the six five so with all that that is why i prefer the six millimeter creep more um i i believe that it is probably the number one go-to cartridge for if you want to do just long range precision shooting like i said i've taken this thing out to 1925 yards that was with a slower load than i'm shooting right now so i do believe that if I was to shoot the load that I'm shooting right now on a good hot day, I could get this thing out well beyond 2,000 yards. Um, it took 26.6 mils of correct, elevation correction to get it out to 1925, and I still had plenty left. Um, so that is my Custom Savage 6 Creedmoor. That is just a little bit about the 6 Creedmoor cartridge and why I feel that it is probably one of the best choices for a long range precision cartridge and i uh, hope you guys got something from this i hope uh, if you guys are thinking about building out a rifle um, maybe this gave you an idea of, of kind of a way to go and uh, i'll see you guys next time i'm out